Hello, this is a lesson from Berkeley Model United Nations that deals with position paper writing. A position paper is a three-page minimum length paper per topic that describes a specific topic of your committee. A good position paper comprises of four specific sections, which are topic description, past United Nations action, delegation policy, and proposed solutions. You should always start your paper with in-depth research. Using websites like UN.org and CIA Factbook are always good places to start. However, never use Wikipedia because it is not a viable source for your information. If you begin by researching sites like UN.org, I'm confident you'll come across many press releases as well as many more articles and documents relevant to your topic. Then, use all the information you've acquired to start writing your position paper. In the first section, your topic description, you will want to talk about the historical background of a topic, the situation currently, and some key issues that the topic brings up. In the past United Nations action section, you will want to discuss the action the United Nations has taken already, if any, and its effectiveness. A key tip, the more research sources you can find, the stronger this section becomes and the better your performance and committee will be. Next is the delegation policy section, and you will want to discuss one, your country's position in regards to the issue. Two, if your country has taken any action as a response to the issue. And three, what sort of action is it likely that your government will take? Next is the delegation policy section, and you will want to discuss one, your country's position in regards to the issue. Two, if your country has taken any action as a response to the issue. And third, what sort of action is your government likely to take? Again, the more reliable research you do, the stronger this section will be. Finally, the proposed solution section is one of the most important parts of your paper. You will want to discuss certain proposed solutions for the committee work towards solving the issue, though make sure the solutions are something that your nation would support, as opposed to something that you personally think would work. Also, include not only your initial solution, but also arguments in favor of your solution, counter arguments to your solution, and arguments in defense of your solution. Here's an example of a proposed solution for the topic of the Pakistan floods. The country of Nicaragua wouldn't pledge monetary aid as it is not something that would be logistically feasible or realistic. On the other hand, this would be a better solution proposed by a developed nation such as the United States. In conclusion, here are some technical guidelines for your paper. Use 8.5 by 11 inch paper, one inch margins on all sides, double spaced, 10 to 12 point font, three page minimum length per topic, correct citations for all your sources used in a bibliography. Your paper will be great with in-depth research and well thought out solutions. Remember delegates, the more work you put into your paper, the better you'll do in committee.